Hello and welcome back to our KSP career and in this episode we will be launching this main truss and we will be attaching it to our electrical as you can tell. So stick around, this is gonna be fun. And first let's roll it out to the launch pad after which we will be launching it. All right, so here we go, three, two, one, launch. This is our space truss going up, look at it go. Yeah, and it is kind of heavily accelerated as always is because, uh, well, I don't want to waste your time. You can enjoy this rocket gently rising up to the top and I will be detaching, I will be doing the asparagus staging and you will see what it is just about now. There we go, first set of asparagus boosters has been thrown away and we are continuing with the other two. Yes, those will help us to get into an orbit around Kerbin and also to be able to go roughly in the 400 kilometer orbit and then dock. So I had to make sure that this truss could actually fly on its own using the RCS thrusters and to be able to, you know, perform the docking because our electrical component didn't have squat. So, all right. As you can tell, our apoapsis is here and we are just extending it past the two, you know, 100 kilometer mark and all right, aligning the maneuver prograde and we shall be starting burning in roughly one minute. As you can tell, as you can tell I still have the boosters, which I think it's kind of cool. They will remain on a suborbital trajectory, which is perfect, which means they will come crashing down and dropping on some pork, pork sods home. Well, at least I hope not. And there we go. So, yeah. All right, we will be starting the burn in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and ignition. There we go, let's detach the boosters, bye-bye boosters, and the main rocket is progressing, there we go. Okay, so we still have, yeah, we have 275 meters per second in this stage, after which we will be, so this, this one will be also crashing, coming down, crashing on Kerbin, and that's good. So, the only, this small booster will go up, up and away. All right, there we go. We are almost orbital and we actually are orbital. There you go. I'm kind of burning for the apoapsis. Well, a little bit higher than I originally anticipated. I should probably get rid of the nose cone at some point. But then again, I've transferred all of the fuel first and uh, yeah making sure that I transfer all of the fuel from the nose cone back and then I will be probably decoupling the nose cone at some point. Yeah. All right. So solar panels. Yeah, I forgot. The nose cone is also serving a solar panel. So let's set the, you know, the space casino as a target. And first we need to have to fix the or uh, inclination. Inclination has to be a roughly 0, 0.0 and that will take 32 meters per second. So not a whole lot, but still it will help us with the docking procedure and to keep it nice and tight and organized. So, yeah, that's that. All right. Pointing it a maneuver. Oh, sorry, maneuver prograde. Yeah, maneuver prograde would really be uh, heading for the shit. Yeah, maneuver, you know. Uh, anyway, all right. So there we go. 32.3 meters per second and we shall be starting our burn in roughly 10, 9, 9, blah, blah, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and ignition. All right, let's see. Well, I'm happy with that maneuver note and now let's make sure that we plan the rendezvous. Now, the good thing is that at this point we can actually eject and make the rendezvous at any orbit whatsoever, so we roughly don't need to care. Look at that, that's a close enough approach if I knew one, so let's see if we can make it nice and tight. Oh, right, come on, come on. There we go, a little bit more, a little bit more, just a smidge. 40, 30 kilometers, 20, I'm just watching the separation marker. Oh, oh 11, 11, 10, there you go. Okay, I'll, I'm good with 10. Okay, so the burn will take 133 meters per second. We have to be a little bit careful because we're not really high on the delta V, nor the thrust to wait for that matter, but uh, all right. The burn time will be 20 seconds. Let's just go and do the two loops, which I should have probably said an epilepsy warning before that. Sorry if I made you dizzy. 
I forgot. I actually recorded these uh, one week ago and I've completely forgot how it looks like. Alright, so now I'm actually using the RCS thrusters, just testing them to see how well they perform. We're gonna toggle the torque on this one and there we go. Getting ready in there we go, beautiful. So this is actually the main truss. I will probably launch two of these ships because they will be, you know, be the main truss that will be holding the uh, space station or space casino together. So there we go. Now let's just warp somewhere here-ish and then sh we shall be performing the rendezvous and the docking. Yes. Auto time warp cancelled, alright. We are going towards the target at 173 meters per second. For those of you that don't think it's fast, that's almost half of the speed of sound. So, yeah, we're kind of screaming towards it. I mean, in space there is no, you know, atmosphere, so technically you don't, you wouldn't feel that velocity, but all in all, yeah. Alright, there we go. Closing in, oh, oh, right, 12 kilometers, perfect. Now I'm just gonna be turning reverse. So the thing is, as I'm pushing this yellow marker onto the pink, so what does that mean? That means that I'm pushing my retrograde velocity to be aligned with the target's retrograde velocity and to secure a, an intercept so that eventually we will end up at the same place at the same time that's kind of um i think it's kind of an easy way of putting it how to actually perform a rendezvous i don't know let me know if you know one that's more simple that's at least the way i see it but you have to be careful the target velocity still has to be fast enough otherwise you're just going to be flying you know perpendicular to each other and no nothing will happen so as you can see uh and these, as, as you further go, these uh, yellow and pink marker will float away from each other and you have to maintain that they are both equally aligned. However, the target velocity still has to be positive and roughly around 10-ish when you're at 2 kilometers. So that's kind of a way how you can ensure that you have a good enough, you know, rendezvous. If it's too slow, it will take too long. If it's too fast, then you'll come crashing into the station. So be aware of that. Usually my policy is maybe 20 meters per second at 2 kilometers, 10 uh, at 10 and then 5 at 5 and that's how I start, you know, decreasing. So it's kind of easy to remember, you know. Also, I am taking away, I want to make a couple of really cool screenshots. There we go, I have reduced my velocity to 7 meters per second. So you see, it's roughly kind of in the ballpark, I would say. Okay, now I've reduced it to five as we are approaching 500 meters and you can see that thing is gargantuan. I cannot even begin to imagine how huge it will look like. By the way, guys, for those of you that are watching and that will be watching all the way to the end, I will be, hint, hint, linking the next yet unpublished episode when this uh, one airs in the top right corner and it's a little bit of a surprise deployment because for this one you didn't see the build episode yeah i wanted to keep it a secret because i thought it was really cool those of you that have seen my instagram and uh, my discord might get a hint so but yeah there you go Okay, now, so we are uh, 200 uh, meters away from the station and we our target velocity is plus 0 0.6. This is mainly due to the reason that I wanted to make these cool screenshots that you guys will have to, you know, enjoy and appreciate. So, there we go. So, now, usually, in this case, I'm typically taking it all from the RCS, you know. I turn sideways and then I decouple the tank and then I will again turn sideways and then I'm gonna decouple the solar panel as well. I'm just making sure that I'm going towards the target. There we go. So yeah, I'm probably gonna decouple now, you know, the top. Maybe I won't. I, I don't know. All right. So I'm making sure that my target velocity is 1.2 meters per second and slowly drifting towards the space station. So I have to make sure that I remember to 
switch the control from the docking port and yeah I'm just kind of closing in because the station will not be oriented like this it will be oriented like the truss is so yeah there we go okay I'm gonna try and kill our relative velocity as much as possible oh screenshot that's for sure and this guy doesn't have any RCS whatsoever so what I need to do is I need to undock it I need to lie it down essentially put it in the horizontal orientation and I hope that I won't be hitting the uh, booster here ish okay that's kind of a scary thing it's coming towards us uh, yeah should I fold in the panels and everything uh, maybe that wouldn't be such a bad idea okay 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 don't hit me don't hit me fold everything Whew. that was close all right so I'm gonna orient it this way because then the Sun will get some exposure and I, yeah, I think that would be the correct orientation regard with especially with the respect to the you know radiators and everything okay so let's control from here we're back to the truss and we're setting the space casino port as the target I think it's actually correctly aligned it, at least it shows that it's the one so I'm hoping that that's correct so I'm now burning with RCS towards it so that we can close the gap ever so gently I'm trying to reorient uh, myself or reorient the truss there we go and now I'm gonna burn towards it roughly at one meter per second to ensure a nice and smooth docking I'm trying to also make sure that alignment wise we are you know precise from what I can tell, it looks correct to me. Okay, we are at a slight angle. Uh, I might fix that at later on, but let's be just ever so gentle. There we go. Looks good to me. The alignment seems to be a-okay. And docked. Wow. Even from the first go, look at it be. Okay. Bye bye. Decouple. I don't need the nose cone anymore. Thank you. There will be a little bunch of space debris that somebody will need to clean up eventually. There we go. Turn it nice and. Yeah, there we go. Careful, careful. It's selfie time. Yeah, and as you can tell, I've burned just a little with the RCS to basically ensure that we are correctly aligned. There we go. Solar panels, radiators. Look at that. So if I turn off the light show, it looks like that. If I turn it on, well, there's lots of light. So guys, you know what to do. Smash that like button or just gently caress it and uh, make sure that you stick here when I post the next video, which even might be occurring in the top right corner very very soon it will be a surprise video so just to quickly recap we're building a space casino we have covered data transmitter docking ports crew capacity remains electric charge remains and asteroid remains but we will be covering those in the future episodes so until then thank you very much for watching this is Gromforks signing off from our casino space station